OSPF network types broadcast. So in the previous video, I talked about the point-to-point -point network typed. So I mentioned that, I mean, I had, sorry, in that video, I have two routers and they are connected using a serial uh, port and in with serial port the the uh, default network type is point to point so I did not have to uh, specify the network type because um, you can actually specify it if you want uh, I can just show it show it to you re real quick so here you can say this is the uh, interface that OSPF is running on. So I can actually say OSPF network and then there. You can specify the network type. And if you are curious, if you want to see, I mean, if you are asking why there's no uh, point to multi point broadcast, you can actually just get to that, I mean, select that broadcast type by doing <clears throat> this. There you go, yeah. And these are all the five uh, network types. So the reason I say that, because with broadcast, you don't have to specify it for Ethernet interfaces. It is by it is selected or the, or it is enabled by the uh, by default, and we can verify that uh, by doing this command OSPF interface. So, like I said, uh, no, I was looking at the wrong interface here. I meant zero slash one, not zero slash zero so as you can see here network type is broadcast so this is a ethernet port so i did not have to specify it and we can show it or we can verify it by doing that command so nothing is configured here so yeah again it is it's the default for ethernet interfaces and it is also called broadcast multi-axis network because there's, you can see here in the topology, let me just uh, move it in the middle. It is multi-axis or meaning there's uh, three routers that are communicating with each other. So hence the word multi-axis and they are connected to a switch. So uh, the communication protocol that they are using is actually talking about the OSPF routers is actually multicast. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, yeah, I already talked about each one of this. So I just wanna go to the, uh, if you wanna just you know, uh, more, you want to know more about each one of this, you can just go back, I mean, go to that uh, video that I created uh, called OSPF Network Types Point to Point. But like I said, I want to go uh, directly to the configuration because I actually already configured these routers and I just want to verify the the neighborships between these. You can see that uh, neighborship is established. Established. So let's go back to the topology here. So from R1, we, uh, it says it sees that dot three is this is dot this is router three. It's the DR, and BDR is router two. I can tell that because of the IP address here. This is dot R2 is dot two, R1 is dot one, R3 is dot three. And from R2, we, it sees that R1 is the router, uh, router. 
and R3 is the DR, which makes sense. And here, <coughs> uh, yeah, same. R1 is Drotter, R2 is BDR. But I want to actually focus on this uh, command here, which the main, the topic of this video. So we can see that the network type is broadcast, broadcast, broadcast. And I think I men already mentioned this in my previous video that even if there's no switch here, you just connect uh, R1 to R2 with a <clears throat> Ethernet port. You can verify it here. I mean, can, you can select that connection here or on the router. Uh, the net, the default network type is Ethernet. So I just want to say that again. All right, so we can also see other things here aside from the network type, like the uh, hello timers, the timers, the wait timers, and retransmit timers. This is this is these are all set by default, and we can see that on all the routers, same. All right, yeah, that that's all. It's uh, you just have to. You don't, like I said, you don't have to configure it. It is enabled by default. And that's this is the command that you can use to verify the network type on your routers. So yeah, that's all I want to talk about in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.